guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to film a video all about my low buy and the rules that I'm personally following. I know everybody does uh, no buy or low buy slightly differently, but I thought it would be quite helpful for you to know what sort of boundaries I'm setting to help me stay on track. If you're looking to do a no buy, maybe knowing what rules I'm following might help you. So, so my main goal for my no buy is to stop shopping for things for myself that I wasn't really thinking much about before. So like makeup and clothes, um, things that aren't deemed necessary. So one of the rules that I have for myself is that I can purchase something in those categories if I completely run out of something in that category. So for example, if I completely run out of moisturizer, for example, then I can purchase a new one or if I completely run out of lipstick which probably will never happen then I can purchase a new one uh, and things like that so the only things that I've bought so far this year on my no buy is um, shampoo and conditioner I think that's everything I've not purchased any skincare or any um, makeup or clothes so far this year which I'm so happy about it's nearing the end of March now so I've been doing this no buy for three months and when I first started out in January I think I even called the video low buy because I wasn't sure how sort of I was going to feel and how the low buy would go but so far I've not purchased anything that's deemed sort of unnecessary for me which, let me tell you, when ASOS sends you a push notification to say that there's 20% of everything, that is seriously tempting. And that has tested my willpower one or two times. Yeah, that's the first rule that I have. If I completely run out of something in a specific category, then I can replenish that product. Then the next rule that I have is I can purchase gifts for other people. And I know, like, really extreme no buyers will... Um, say that they're not purchasing anything at all and that includes presents for other people but I am not applying that because my aim for myself is to stop purchasing unnecessary things for myself so far this year I've had my mum's birthday, mother's day, my mother-in-law's birthday um, lots of things that I have um, bought other people presents for but not myself so my next rule is that I can be given gifts in the sense of if it's my birthday or Christmas I can receive gifts from others because that's not using my own money and my no buy is completely about me um, saving money so obviously if I receive something I have not spent any money on it therefore it's not that big of a problem but I have sort of spoken to my partner about the journey I'm on and he, he's fully aware that um, I'm more interested in sort of experience gifts and things that aren't going to take up a lot of space in the home and more sort of thoughtful gifts. So, for example, one of the things he got me for my birthday uh, last year was that he sponsored a cat cabin at Battersea Cat Protection and it literally made me cry. I was like, this is like the perfect this is like perfect because it's like a really meaningful gift that isn't anything um, superficial. I talk quite often about if um, you're trying to stop shopping then you could try to add things to your wish list for Christmas and birthdays and then perhaps someone else can buy them for you. And so I have got a couple of clothing items and makeup bits that I've put in my wish list. Whether I'll actually ask for those for my birthday or not is a different question. Um, I'll have to see how I feel when it gets to that point because my birthday is in September so I could have completely broken by then. But yeah, technically I am allowing myself to receive makeup and clothes and stuff for special occasions gifted by others but I actually haven't had to do that yet even for... so we've had Valentine's Day and um, our anniversary is coming up as well and for Valentine's Day we didn't share um, physical gifts and for our anniversary, I'm pretty sure we're going to go out for dinner instead. But so far, my no buy has been going so well. Much, much better than I thought it would, would go. Um, I've only been tempted on a couple of occasions to shop. And obviously, when that's happened, I've been able to sort of um, either sleep on it or convince myself out of it. So that's really good. Having said that, I do think that being in lockdown and staying at home 
is massively helping towards my Nova. And when we do end up going out more and seeing people and going to more events and stuff, that will be the real test for me because that's, I know for a fact that's when I want to purchase new stuff. Because you've got to think I'm not even using the stuff I already own at the moment so I'm not really tempted to bring anything else in. So when I do eventually start going out more I will obviously um, have the chance to wear the clothes in my wardrobe and use other makeup bits that I've not been using and I think that will be really beneficial for me because then I can see um, what exactly I'm leaning towards wearing now and what I actually want to get rid of even further. So I really hope you enjoyed this video on my low buy rules and what I'm sort of following my guidelines on how to stop shopping. If you're on a no buy this year then do let me know how you're getting on in the comments and for more minimalism videos please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next one. Bye!